Yo, what's up, man? It's your boy Bizarre, man. I'm in the studio right now. Working on this album, man. You know, I stay working, man. This is my job. That's all I know. But today, man, I want to take a little time out, man, to talk about this situation. I see my my homie Royce Five Nine on the Breakfast Club today. And he was talking about the situation where Marshall was looking at T Grizzly as far as considering putting him on the record. And um until you heard T Grizzly come out this is the most song. And I feel like I'm in the middle of all this because I'm a street nigga. And uh, I'm in the streets more than the, you know, average Detroit rapper or whatever. So anyway, I get asked this question thousands of times. So by me being an OG, I tell y'all local rappers all the time, like, you never know who paying attention to you. You never know who watching. And y'all think that y'all out on Marshall's radar, but y'all are. Because he's a rapper, he's paying attention. And if he don't know, then I'm going to tell him. And if I don't tell him, then I ain't going to tell him. If Denine don't tell him, somebody going to tell him. You know what I'm saying? So, we, I mean, we know who hot in our city and who not. But to the defense, man, a lot of y'all local rappers, man, I didn't reach out to y'all personally myself and try to hook up with you and vibe and build. And a lot of y'all was out in Hollywood. Like y'all were stars. And ain't even been outside of the Detroit area code. You know what I'm saying? But hear me, humble, an eight million record sold platinum artist. You know what I'm saying? Who's been around the whole world, even been on the cover of Rolling Stones, all that shit you can name. But well, fuck that shit. None of that shit don't mean nothing. You know what I'm saying? We trying to stay together as a Detroit, as a unit. But a lot of y'all rappers, y'all can't see that, man. So it's just funny, man, how we get other cities to twist and turn the shit. Like I seen this little video with Lando Bando. You know, he on his platform talking about doing a song with Eminem would change your life and how come Eminem don't reach out to more of the local celebrities and do stuff. Now, Lando, ask yourself this. These are the same rappers that were saying he wasn't even top five rapper in Detroit, period. So why would he reach out to do a song with them? That ain't make no sense, man. We got to start respecting our rappers because it was never like this when we was growing up. It ain't no division. It ain't no gangster rap, hip hop. We all as one. You gotta start respecting Slum Village. You gotta start respecting Big Sean. You gotta start respecting Eminem, D12, Obi Trice, Danny Brown. All these rappers paved the way for the city, for y'all to be able to do what y'all can do today, to, to shed light on the city. And that's the bottom line. So I'm gonna tell you one thing that I know as an OG. I never, ever diss a Detroit rapper to somebody out of town. Never. If I feel some type of way about a rapper, I never say it. If you come to the city and you tell me, hey man, I'm trying to get up with such and such, such, such. Or what's up with him? Oh, he cool. Oh yeah, this, even if I have beef with that rapper, you'll never know it. So we got to stick together, man, because you never know who watching, man, and who can do what, man. And we got to start doing what's best for us. I'm going to give you the best advice my homie Rico Sheldon told me. Put your head down and grind. Stop worrying about other shit and your blessings will come. And that's all I got to say, man. I love y'all. I love my city. To Cash Dolls, to Vezos, to Sada Babies. I love all y'all, man. The Trick Tricks, the Ambassador. I love y'all, man. Enough respect, man. I'm about to get my ass back in here. We're finished on this album and mind my business. <laughs>